Hey guys, and welcome to uh, episode three of uh, Turd or Treasure. Um, this title's a bit weird. I might change the title because it doesn't really apply to this. I thought uh, we would do something a little bit different for the third episode. Um, so I've dug out this. This is Resident Evil Director's Cut on Zipless Station, as you can quite plainly see. But we're not going to be doing Resident Evil 1 Director's Cut. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to go for uh, the Resident Evil 2 demo that actually came with this. I'm not sure if I played it, to be honest. Um, maybe once for the channel we played through it. But... Yeah, it's quite a boring disc as well. But I'm curious, is this the legendary demo that me and my friend played all the way back in the day? I honestly can't remember. But I was going through all of my things, and uh, actually the disc doesn't look too good, to be honest. Now, this is a copy of Resident Evil 1, Director's Cut, that I brought a while ago. And I paid a premium for this. Um, I got it off eBay. <clears throat> and the seller said it was in very good, complete condition. And as I've previously said, I only buy games if they're in good condition. Very important with old games. Um, not so much in the States, I believe. But in the UK, well, Europe actually, the Dreamcast and indeed the Dream Dreamcast and PlayStation 1, especially from, my, from off the top of my head, came uh, in these semi like cool looking but very very fragile boxes um i mean uh, leagues ahead of the shit that nintendo packaged their games in which is just a bit of cheap cardboard at least we got plastic so there's that but they're very fragile so anyway this was actually sent to me like a long this was a long time ago but um this was in very good condition as you can see the corners cracked off there um the case is broken and fractured uh, quite heavily. And if we open it up, apart from the fact the manual's going to fall out, you can see the hinge is totally snapped. Uh, this, well, the discs don't hold in properly because the um, little nuggets that actually hold the discs in are all snapped and broken. And this completely comes away. So yeah, yeah, uh, I would say it looks like it just came out the fucking factory, guys. Totally haven't been ripped off. But anyway, there's the Resident Evil 2 demo disc that it comes with. Uh, and I know what a lot of people are going to say, just get a new disc, just, just swap over the box. Yes, <clears throat> that's true. But finding these double-sided uh, boxes like this is not easy and buying brand new old stock boxes uh, for the PlayStation is now insanely expensive see that's one thing like in uh, in America you use the standard CD uh, cases same as the Dreamcast they were standard CD uh, cases as far as I'm aware that that was a great idea I mean they don't look quite as cool but functionality they're so much better and practical practicality as well i have been at work for the last 10 and a half hours a bit tired um but from a practical standpoint again much better and how easy is it to find um a cd case as a replacement they're everywhere even now and cds are not exactly easy to get but yeah so they, they didn't really hold up to the test of time. And the Dreamcast cases, the European Dreamcast cases, which I do not have one of those on hand, they are abysmal, even back in the day. Again, they look cool, but they're made of the brittlest plastic. Uh, I remember just buying brand new Dreamcast games back in the day. Or <laughs> my dad did, because I was a scrubby little school kid. Just opening the box for the first time after you take the wrapper off was enough to crack and break those cases. I, well, I don't get it, but there we go. Anyway, let's uh, pop the disc into the old PlayStation 2 and have a little look. I'm using my, uh, sl uh, not slim, I'm using my fat 
a silver PlayStation 2, which is the only one that I still have that's working. I do have my Slim down there, but I can't find the power supply to it. And annoyingly, <coughs> after like a million years, my original Sony SCART lead actually died for that PlayStation, uh, for the PlayStation 2. So I've literally just had to buy a new one, which has arrived, which is rather wonderful. So let's have a look. Ah, the very familiar eyeball logo. Yes. Yes, we know this very well. Let's skip this. So, so far, this is all the same. Now, I would like to, as much as possible, keep these this series of videos. Ah! Oh, the eye's different. It's the original Resident Evil 1.5 eye, I think. So that's interesting. As much as I possibly can. Um... I need to change the aspect ratio on my TV. I want to try and keep these, uh, this particular series anyway, using the original hardware. I mean, yeah, you could argue that PlayStation 2 isn't exactly original hardware, but it, it kind of is. Because the PlayStation 2 doesn't use emulation. It, it uses the same CPU and uh, GPU, I believe. Oh, the GPU might be different, but the CPU is the same. Because I believe the PlayStation 2 used the PlayStation 1 CPU for a sound chip or something like that. Anyway, let's have a look. So we've got sound options. So we can have stereo or monoroll. We're going to go for stereo. No surround sound in here. Although there was uh, one or two N64 games, I believe, that used um, ProLogic, which very impressive. The first console, I believe, that used native 5.1 surround sound system as standard was uh, the original Xbox. The PlayStation 2 does have the optical cable, or the optical out, but it could only use, um, I think it's Pro Logic for playing movies and uh, on cinematics of games. It couldn't do it in-game, as far as I remember, anyway. So, uh, and the GameCube. <laughs> Don't be stupid, it's Nintendo. For Christ's sake. Nintendo and surround sound. Let's have a look. I'm curious. Do you remember? Oh, this is so different. That bizarre mystery that took place in Raccoon City. Although it appeared to be solved by the Stars team. My cat's rolling around on the floor. Two months later. It's been 84 years. The real nightmare begins. Okay, so that's really different. <gasps> Guys, this is a different demo. This is a different demo. The demo I remember you had a time limit. The demo I remember you had a time limit. Ah, okay. I think the Leon picture is different. Um, oh, get some weird sound effects. Like that's not sounding as quite as crispy as it should. Uh, so check a Zippo lighter. The initials LK are engraved on it. That's different. That's not. That's not the same as in the original. Certainly didn't mention it being a Zippo, as far as I remember. What about the gun? Now, this is Leon's standard handgun. It is actually, um, it was changed. It was the Hecker and Kosh VP something or other. Um, it's actually quite an old weapon. But it was later renamed uh, to be the Matilda. And it was called the Matilda, basically from the film Leon, the professional. Um... Everybody should be familiar with that film, but basically, uh, the assassin Leon in the film had a sidekick called Matilda, and that's where that comes from, which I thought was really interesting. Uh, let's check it. HK VP70, manufactured by HK Inc. Germany, uses 9mm parabellum rounds. Now, interesting thing about this gun as well you always get the ability to find the stock, which upgrades it to a three round um, burst, which is accurate. 
they were like that in real life as well, or they are like that in real life, they need the stock because the stock has the mechanism to, to convert the gun into um, a three round burst. But it's only the military issue uh, version that have that ability. The civilian model does not. So that's kind of weird that Leon has the, the military issue. Yes, okay, it's a video game, so you'll probably get away with it like that. Anyway, let's have a look here, check. A combat knife. It could come in handy. I think that's the same. It will restore your vitality completely. Not sure on that as well. Can't remember the last time I used a F8 spray. So let's have a little look around here. Man, okay, so the zombie layout's the same so far. You right there, Chief? Ah, oh, yeah, fucker. I fucked that up, didn't I? Never mind. Uh, it's been a little while since I've uh, done this bit. Like, at least a couple of weeks, because of course... Ooh, are those zombies closer together? They might be. Probably not. But... Hmm, okay. Cool stuff. Is it going to be the same? Freeze! Who are you? What are you Voice doing is here? different. Hold your fire! I'm a I think human! Leon's the same. <sighs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. His voice is different. I thought you were it's more high pitched. I'm in this, town. On in this town. Oh. Hold on. Ah, still with the same sound. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was the wrong, home. the entire Fested city was infested zombies. with zombies. Hmm. So can we talk to him again? But you should be safe inside here. I'm keeping a close eye And you're eye doing a bang-up job, Kendo. You're doing a bang-up job here, my friend. Uh, right, so let's see what we've got here. Ooh. That looks like two lots of... Uh, Handgun bullets. Will we take the handgun bullets? Yes, we will. 15. No sound effects. No sound effects. Interesting. Are these the same? That's a strange sound effect. It's not the blub, 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 blub from the actual release. 9 times 19 parabellum rounds. It can be used for either the HK VP70 or the or the bra Browning, the Browning. Hmm. Okay. Anything else down here? There's nothing useful here. Are you sure, Leon? Are you positive, sir? The shotguns and the rifle. Oh, look, F8 spray. That as well. That's not there. In the uh, in the actual full release. Ah, a typewriter. If I had an ink ribbon, I could save my progress. Save is not available in this preview. So, was this original? Ah, the. Ah! 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 His death scream is still the same. Looks like there's ink ribbons actually next to that. Come on, you dickbags. Give me the shotgun. The gun feels like it's firing slower. Might be wrong. Bum. 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 I don't know. It does feel a little bit slower. How do we? Oh. Right. How do we? So start is the menu. Okay. And we know there's still zombies alive because the music hasn't stopped. Get up, mister. Someone is still, you sir. Oh, fuck. Officer Hardass over here. There we go. And uh, all is right with the world. He has stopped breathing. Will you take the shotgun? Yeah. Was there always a space with the shotgun? I don't think so. Remington M870. Bulldog. Doesn't call it a bulldog in the... Uh, Actual release, 12 gauge shotgun rounds, shorter than a standard M870 as its barrel is cut. I don't know if it mentions that. 
Now, if I'm getting any of this information wrong, please correct me. The case is broken. There's nothing useful inside. Now, it looks like there's, um... There's ink ribbons here. More useless trinkets. I mean, look there. Yeah, there's definitely ink ribbons. Maybe there's, there's meant to be, but obviously you can't get it. Also, you notice how the shotgun's got seven shells. Only has five in the uh, in the actual game. Ah, here's zombies. Ooh. Hey, fellas. Let's go down here. Is there still some ammo down here? No. No. Okay, that's like completely different. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, guys? You come straight out here. We don't get to go into the basketball uh, court or anything. Oh, fuck. We got. He's getting a wiggle on ears. Look at the bus. If there's any ammo or anything, I don't know. That's a different camera angle, I think. Ha! Huh. Guys, this is so fucking cool. Hmm. Just making sure that I'm getting everything recorded. Ooh. Yeah, we got Zeds there. I mean, we had Zeds there before, so that's fine. Is Brad down here, though? Little chicken heart. Sound. Nope, there's no one here. Okay. But we can still hear the zombies moaning away. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever played this. I I don't know, I don't remember. Like, it, in a way, ah, there's no herb there either. Which there isn't in the Japanese version. Um, anyway, so that's not... Oh! You can see the zombies over there. That's interesting because even if there were zombies there in the original, and I'm sure there's a version that does have them, you can't see them there. That's really interesting because, um, yeah, that transition is different. Hmm. Music's still the same. Okay. Oh, the soundtrack. Guys, the soundtrack is still so good. Uh, I mean, I like the soundtrack in the remake. It's good, but man, they, they hit it out of the park with this. It's so creepy. We'll take that. Now, the bullets look different there. They look a lot more orange. Now, this is a brand new scart lead that I've brought, so I don't know how good it is yet. It, the picture's very clean. It's a very nice RGB picture. But, mm. it will not operate in this preview. Oh, ah, and look, that, that's totally different, this camera angle. You didn't get a close-up like that. Mm. So we can't have a look down there. So does that mean we can't open these doors? I'm guessing we can still see Marvin, though. Hello, communist kitty. And that's a reference no one's going to get, because that playlist hasn't gone up yet. Right. Oh, fuck. Hello. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, we've got some more bullets here. Uh, no, 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 no. Come on, Leon. Oh, God. Newbie mistake. Yep. We can't. We have to push start to get into the options. Uh, into our menu. Which is really weird, guys. I don't like. I mean, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that's going to take some getting used to. Two shotguns? Really? I mean, I guess maybe they were assuming that you wouldn't go back and get... Um... Is that guy getting back up? Yeah, he is. I guess they're assuming that you wouldn't go back and get the, the one off the, the shopkeeper, but... Ooh, he aims high, man. 
no sound effect there either. Here's a preview, but it's uh, it's a little bit ropey. The herbs missing from here. Ah, hey Marvin. Hi there, buddy. You uh, you don't look so good there, pal. He really aims high. Holy fuck. Boom. No sound effect for the shotgun. That's bizarre. Okay. Um. 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 No. No, don't do this to me. Okay, so my PlayStation is definitely... I think it's definitely on the fritz. The slim P uh, PS2. Uh, I mean, this fat PS2. We had this uh, in our... Resident Evil 2 actual LP on this on this system. Oh. Okay, I think if I eject the disc. Yeah. See if it loads. You can hear it reading the disc. It's not. Well, that's a bugger. So we're gonna have to end our preview here. At least take a break here. Um, I'm, 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 I'm. I'm gonna have to get back up to this point, aren't I? Shit. Um. Oh. All right, guys. Uh, give me, give me a second. Right. Okay, guys. We're back now. I just uh, want to show you something. I think the sounds are working now. Hear that? That wasn't on um, on before. What I've done is I've given up with this. This is my uh, fat original PlayStation 2. Uh, I guess we're going to get rid of it. You know, in the last week, my Dreamcast has died. My original Dreamcast has died. Um, because I wanted to do a one of these videos on some Dreamcast games. The controller ports don't work. My GameCube has stopped reading discs. Now my PlayStation 2 is packed up. No, I'm not kidding. That has all happened uh, in the last eight days. And then about six months ago, my original Xbox blew up. So let's hit up a new game. And the PlayStation... Ooh, yeah. Gribbly. And the PlayStation is making some very strange noises. Like, eh, 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 eh. Ooh. There's music here. That wasn't here when we was using the PlayStation 2. Yeah. The music wasn't working, was it? How strange. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to meet you back to where we were. I've got so many consoles to buy. Oh, man. Guys, it's done glitched out, guys. I don't know what's going on, guys. Ah! Um, we've, we've gone weird. We've gone really weird. Like, not every console I own is, is dying, surely. I... Is this to do with the preview? I don't know. But the sound is skipping again. And I didn't hear him scream. Guys. Maybe. Guys, maybe this is why people use emulators. Because it's so much easier than using 20 plus year old consoles that might probably not work anymore. But I like using the original hardware, man. I don't know. Right. You're not dead. Now you're dead. Look at the blood. The blood square. That's so weird. Like, the way the texture just, like, completely bleeds out. There we go. Now you're dead, too. Okay, cool. I was going to say, how much ammo do we have? Who the fuck knows? I don't know. I'm hoping when we move into the next room, everything's going to reset. But uh, I, I'm 
I want to say it's like really broken and dodgy as fuck, but I can't make that judgment call because it could very well be my PlayStation. I mean, the, what, what's the chances of my PlayStation 1 and my PlayStation 2 going? I don't know. And this... Oh, I'm going to have to reset it, aren't I, guys? Ah... Uh, one second. Hey guys, and we're mostly back to where we were. Um, I've had like four crashes of this game since, so what I've done, I've cleaned off the laser of the PlayStation and everything seems fine now. So maybe it was just a bit of schmutz on the laser, hopefully. Um, all of the weird audio glitches and things that we've had previously, all gone. So hopefully that's a good thing. But I've, the reason I started recording here is look, Look up there, above Leon. There's no ladder there. Of course, in the actual final game, we have the ladder that we can use to quickly get up and down uh, floors. So that's quite interesting. This video is going to be like, well, going to require a lot of stitching. Let's just say that, shall we? Um, let's have some fun. Let's get the shotty out, the bulldog. Come on, you motherfucker. Smile for the camera, bro. Boom. And look, we now have sound effects with the shotgun going off. Interesting. We've got 14 shotgun shells to have some fun with. Excellent. And we want to have some fun with the shotgun because, come on, man. It's a shotgun. Um, hey, buddy, if you want to have some shotgun fun, come around. Come around and see me. Make me smile, motherfucker. Boom! Get out of here. So what do we have here? Look at the precinct key! That's totally different! How strange, files are organized. Uh, none appear to be useful. And of course we fight Nemesis here. Uh, in the third game, and you can really cheese Nemesis using this bookshelf. You can actually kill him fairly easily with a knife if you do it, do it right. Alright, okay. So, precinct key. Where... Do we use this precinct key? Let's check it. A steel key. The letter P is etched. A P key. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. God damn it! Leave me alone, man. I'm a 32-year-old man-child. Sue me. Right. So let's go through here. It's locked from the inside. Okay. So oh fuck my ass and call me Charlie. You know what, pal? You know what? No one's gonna miss you. And mummy doesn't even love you, so... Boom! Get wrecked. When are we ever going to use a shotgun again? I mean, next time we play Resident Evil 2, I suppose. Uh, okay, cool. So let's get out of here. We came, we saw, we killed. Now, what else have we got? So, I wonder, can we use the P key in this door? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's the only door. I wonder, is this door over here open? Interesting. Can't enter here in the preview. Okay, so... Alright. In the preview. Huh. So we only have this door. Uh, what, can we examine this statue? It's so weird that the ladder's not there as well. An old fountain, it's bone dry. To be honest, I can't remember what it said there originally, so I don't know. But obviously, we didn't need the key, uh, a key to open this. In the, uh, well, originally, we had to use the key card. No item box either. Well, that's a kick in the knickers. Can we open this drawer? No. Hmm, okay. Is the liquor going to be here? Yeah, the lick is still there. Cool. So, I wonder if we're going to get to fight the liquor, or if the liquor's not going to be loud in the preview. Camera angle. And again, the camera angle is only there for that one shot. Uh, we can hear the blood dripping. There appear to be discarded files inside. Is it me, or is this something different about this corridor? Yeah, look. There's uh, there's no 
door here, and why is that here? Yeah, there's definitely. S yeah, that still says the same. It doesn't look like he has any bullets. What is different about this corridor? It's definitely something. The wall texture, or is it too bright? It's locked. The letter L. How weird. So originally there was it was going to be letters and not symbols. Oh, no cutscene. Okay. Well, let's see what the liquors are like. Smile, you son of a bitch. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, you little dick bag. Three shots. Three shots. He's a tough little fucker. Alright. So we need the L key. There's no herb there as well, like there is. Look at the little candle, candelabras. Were they there in the original? I, I think this whole corridor is a lot brighter than it was. Yeah, see, this is dark and dingy, like we remember. Are the arms going to come through? No. At least not there, anyway. We can go in here still. Hmm. So this is looking the same. What's that there? That looks a little bit... No? Nothing. There's got bullets on the table. Now, there was never bullets here. Getting a lot of handgun bullets. Also, this music is different. Oh, this track is different. I like it. That's so chilling. Can we use this though? Fireplace seems to be in working order. There's an oil painting above it. The title says Sacrifice in the Hellfire. Okay. And we can use the fireplace. Do we still get the item? We do. Hmm. Will you take the red jewel? Now, in the original, it said something about the uh, the size of a fist. A blood red jewel, about the size of a fist. Yeah, so that's still the same. Hang on, can we only hold 15 bullets in this gun? Yes, yeah, already loaded, so not the 18 that you got in the, uh, the full release. Of course, Claire's gun only held 13. Mmm, very interesting. This is so cool. I wish I did this ages ago. Okay, let's go. I wonder when this demo is going to end. So we can still go through here. I wonder if we can get into the dark room. So far, it's quite a meaty preview, to be honest. Oh, we got zombies. Hello, love. Suck on this. Mmm. What a mess. Let's switch back up to that this bad boy. Is it just you? Yeah, just you down here, my friend. Have some little 9mm for your trouble. Oh, you greedy little son of a bitch. There we go, he's down. He's down, he's had enough. No herbs at all so far. Mmm. I want... Oh, we got the save room music. But... And we do have an item box. Ah, look at this shit, guys. So... We put the shotgun back. How many handgun bullets is there? 30. Not bad. Um, we put the first aid spray back. We'll keep one on us, just in case. Um, we're going to need the red jewel. Oh. Probably not. We'll put that back for now. We'll combine. Uh, there we go. Got a lot of bullets. Okay. So is there anything in these rooms? 
in any, any of these drawers. No. What about in here? Nothing. Okay. You might be able to hear my cat purring away. Bless her. I can develop film here. You can, if we had any. Yeah, I apologize if you can hear my cat purring. She's making herself heard. Like, what's up, bitches? Hello? No, nothing here. And there's no files either. There's no file there. So, we've got two choices. We can go upstairs to the second floor. I believe they call it in a, the States. It's the... the um, yeah, in the States it would be the second floor, wouldn't it? In the UK it's the first floor. It's locked. The letter S. Okay. So you've got the S, the L, and the P key so far. Very weird. So this is about the same. Is the is the puzzle going to be here? The doorknob turns, but the door won't budge. Hmm. Looks like yeah, this puzzle is going to be the same. Yeah, and we can manipulate these. Cool. Come on, Leon. Use that manly strength of yours. Oh, actually, before we do this, we should read the plaque. See if it says anything. So, oh, this music. It's so good. Is Resident Evil 2, does Resident Evil 2 have the best music of all of them? Maybe. Something is written on the mounting. The god of the sun and the god of the moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release my soul. Yeah, I think that's the same. Okay. Oh. Alright, let's shift this over. This puzzle is such a pain in the ass once you've done it for like 17,000 million times. It's like, do I have to? Ma, I don't wanna. It's like, yes, do it. Do it now. Right. No clicky sound, though. Oh, there we go. There's the clicky sound. But the jewel hasn't dropped. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Boop. Uh, I don't know if I want to pick that jewel up, to be honest. Oh, you got four slots. Go on. We'll have it. Yeah, we'll have it. Alright, let's go. There's definitely a lot more meat in this than I thought there would be. Yep, we got zombies. We got hostiles. We got a hostile. You're right there, buddy. Let me put you out of your misery. There you go, my friend. Wander these halls no more. Let's get some more bullets. There we go. Any more Zeds around this corner? Yep. Sounds like multiple. Hmm. Oh, no. Just the one. Okay. Sit down and shut up, you big bold fuck. Right, let's have a little look in the stars room. Hmm. So we've got something flashing over here. Oh, can we look in here? We can't, no, so we can't get the magnum. There are various devices. This must be where they gathered information. No shit, Leon. So though that's f oh precinct key. There we go. We got another precinct. That's oh fuck. What? What? Oh. Oh, I really wanted. To I bet that's the end. Yes. Ah, oh, bullshit. I wanted to explore the stars office. Ah! God damn it! Mm. 
What will happen to Leon and Claire? Well, I don't have time to explore the f uh, star's office. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Uh, welcome to you guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. Um, yeah, I'm going to run this video so it's ready to go up for tomorrow. Um, hmm. So, I mean, obviously, if we're, if we're going to say, is this a turd or is this treasure? This is fucking treasure, man. This is like Resident Evil 2 gold, this is. Another, another, like, it's almost like the hunt for Resident Evil 1.5 all over again, except, obviously, you know, um, not. But it's so cool to see, like, an unfinished version of Resident Evil 2. Ah, it was like the different keys and the subtle little, little differences. Mmm, that was so much fun playing that through. I'm definitely going to play it through again. Um, if there is anything different, or if I find anything different, which I kind of doubt it, but if anything cool happens in the star's office, uh, I'll add this. Or I might do like another run of this if, if anything cool happens. Just like a quick look at the star's office. Um, obviously, if, if there's nothing really there, then I won't bother. But yeah, I've really enjoyed this. This was this was so cool. Um, I I kind of want to see more. I like I want to find another preview. I do want to try and find the demo that I had when I was a kid um, because that was very different. That was more from from what I remember anyway. That was more the Resident Evil that we know. Uh, I think the layout was basically the same. But you had... I can't remember if you had 10 minutes or you had 20 minutes. And it was a timer at the top of the screen ticking down. And I don't know, in theory, how far you could get. Because we were kids, you know. Even though we played it time and time and time again. But I think you could actually get really, really far in that. Um, a lot further than, than a lot of people, especially at the time, realised. So that might be quite fun to track down. I, I might be able to find that on a maybe a ROM site or something, but I don't know. Or I might have a look on eBay, see if I can find some old PlayStation 1 demos. But then I suppose anything involving around Resident Evil 2 at the moment is just exceedingly expensive. Who knows? Maybe that's a future project. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this half as much as I have. It's been fucking fantastic. Uh, I'm really enjoying doing this series. Don't know if I'm going to keep the name. Um, could call it Titan Trials. <gasps> Ooh, Titan Trials. I like it. I like it. Because we might not always be looking at seeing if a game's a turd or treasure. I mean, it's more of a first look thing, you know? Hmm. Titan Trials. What do you think? Let me know. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.